myself along with uh, 33 other women have decided to invest in the success of women and girls on the south side of Chicago. It started at a kitchen table. Uh, we talked about the issues that girls face. We live in a, a city where probably the top three issues in our city are poverty, violence, and racism. And we thought, where are girls in the conversation? It was that sort of discussion around the issues that the women said, well, what can we do? And we said, you know what? We can put our money together because there are great programs on the ground and we can help. So, so that's kind of where it started. And it was kind of this uh, hokey idea that we weren't sure would have legs. But in a year and a half of kind of working together, we were able to assemble these women and we gave out grants. I grew up, I'm a kid of the South Side. Uh, went to Chicago Public Schools and uh, played at parks and uh, went to the library and participated in many public and free programs that are available today to help kids reach their full potential. The same things that I'm raising money for, I was a kid that benefited from those things. I think it's so important to be visible with a philanthropy because if again you think about the historical definition of philanthropy and you think about affluence and wealth and people of color, black, Latino, Asian, marginalized communities who are impacted often the greatest by the world's problems, right? Whether it's poverty, racism, violence, um, climate change. I think that oftentimes they're the most impacted, but the great thing is they're the people who can be the change makers. Change doesn't have a face to it. Change doesn't have a race to it. Change doesn't have a gender to it. If we abandon that idea of what a philanthropist looks like, what a philanthropist have, what the power they have, the change they can make, and open that up and bust that door wide open, I think we um, have the potential uh, to create even greater change.